After a lengthy battle with Congress over funding his beloved racism monument which included the longest government shutdown in U.S. history, Donald Trump finally followed through on his authoritarian threats and declared a national emergency. While the term, emergency, sounds dire, all it really means is that Trump has given himself special powers to act without congressional approval. Lots of other presidents have declared emergencies, often to impose sanctions on foreign powers. It's a tactic that Trump himself once derided because there really is a tweet for everything. From November 2014 at Real Donald Trump picked out Twitter.com slash WH2I8PLV9I Adam Mintzer at Adam Mintzer February 14, 2019 by declaring a national emergency. It allows Trump to save face after losing a very public fight over something he's been touting as the basis of his entire presidency since his early campaign days. Now he can sign spending bills that don't include money for the wall, avoiding another government shutdown, because Nancy Pelosi has made it 100% clear that racist wall money isn't going to be included on anything that comes to his desk. Thursday afternoon, Sarah Huckabee Sanders let us all know that this announcement was coming, choosing to do so ever so professionally, via what appeared to be a notes app memo. No greater sign of what a shit show this administration is than declaring a national emergency on the notes app https colon slash slash t dot co slash mf by hg9 r4c jess dweck at thedwick february 14th 2019 she couldn't even be bothered to remove the sloppy mark she left when cropping the photo. Trump's official announcement which took the form of a Rose Garden press conference was well, it was something. He rambled. He attacked reporters. He invited a group of angel moms, holding photos of their loved ones who had been murdered. At one point, he also started talking about trade deals with China. He said that China has the death penalty for drug dealers, and that as part of that trade deal, fentanyl will be added to the criminal list, something he is most excited about pointing to this use of the death penalty. Trump also said in his faux mafia tone, so if we want to get smart, we can get smart. You can end a drug problem. You can end it a lot faster than you think, as sometimes happens when left to ramble for too long. Trump also started saying things that contradicted the very thing he was there to say in the first place. Despite frequently blaming Barack Obama and previous administrations for not doing anything about border security, he also managed to find a way to brag about having created that crisis himself. Trump, in a way, what I did by creating such a great economy, and if the opposing party got in, this economy would be down the tubes. He mocks people who say, the previous administration, had something to do with the good economy. He is rambling hard. Daniel Dale, at d -Dale 8, February 15, 2019 He also flat out said there is no emergency. I didn't need to do this, he said. But I'd rather do it much faster, likely to be used in future lawsuits. Trump on his national emergency declaration, I didn't need to do this. But I'd rather do it much faster, I just want to get it done faster, via CNN picked out twitter.com slash hcprqdhrj9, Kyle Griffin at Kyle Griffin 1, February 15, 2019 Sus then, what is the emergency? https colon slash slash t dot co slash ubes 3 exca Jamil Smith at Jamil Smith February 15, 2019 Quick History Fact Autocrats have often used a national emergency or its state of emergency to subvert civil liberties. In Egypt and Syria, decades-long states of emergency were among Arab Spring protesters' biggest grievances. I didn't need to do this means he's faking a crisis. HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash tv qpo z 4 a he Alexandria Ocasio Cortez at AOC February 15, 2019 he said it's a national emergency. Then he said I didn't need to do this.
In a bizarre sing-songy voice, he rattled off the expected steps for the case, going through the Ninth Circuit and the Supreme Court. Warning, video may cause brain bleeding. Or at least, that's what it feels like. Trump, I'll sign the final papers, dot, and we will have a national emergency, and we will then be sued, and they will sue us in the Ninth Circuit, dot, and then we'll end up in the Supreme Court, and we'll win in the Supreme Court just like the travel ban picked at twitter.com slash OCGZ3ZWP7M, Axios, at Axios, February 15, 2019, and, indeed, that's already what is happening. At Joaquin Castro, Tex and I aren't going to let the president declare a fake national emergency without a fight. https colon slash slash t dot co slash iplcvvsm 6 u alexandria ocasio cortez at aoc february 15 2019 meanwhile it's hard not to think about all the actual emergencies trump could be addressing instead of this nonsense gun violence is an emergency climate change is an emergency our country's opioid epidemic is an emergency